explain how exactly that happened. Huh? What are you talking about? Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. It's kind of funny how we can actually say that with a sword in our hand. It's like, it's not a blaster. We can't exactly just shoot him. Let's see here. Alright, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated. So it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. The thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure pizzack. The console's ours. Now all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and hey! This system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. That would be standard procedure if there's anyone that would have had. No. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight, and leave us here. Trapped. Hmm. You think Akbar isn't here? Let's see. Is there anything else we can do to this cuts? I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. No, actually, that's kind of funny. That's the first time I've ever heard Star Wars refer to space as a vacuum. But before, sound just travels in space. I always thought it was some kind of special radiation or something like that. Just because of Star Wars. Like, come on, we have lightsabers, the Force, little green men doing awesome things. We can't exactly just say, oh, that's, that's not too, that's too unrealistic. Come on. We gotta have that. We could try. But if the miners were trying to trap you up here and probably kill you, why not call them and chat? I don't think a friendly call is going to wake them up. Yeah, well, guess what happened? I'm going to try anyway. Be my guest. Yeah, Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Thank you. Hooray, I am now glowing with envy. Let's see, do I have anything else actually? I can't remember. We have a stealth field generator, which is useless to me. It wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. Sent the survivor to medical, the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship, the Harbinger, and it suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. So that's gonna mean trouble. It always means trouble whenever a protocol droid mentions the word Jedi. Let's be honest. Inventory the bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid story. The T3 droid had seized up, so we left it in storage and standby mode. Don't know what code will access it. It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition sensors. Man, to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before there's a re Oh boy, does not sound that good. Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out and the miners aren't sure what to do with him. Quarter's mining crew wanted us to collect the credits for the bounty the Exchange has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will- Well, no word from the Republic. But I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow. Damn. You know, it sounds like this place is being really poorly maintained. I understand money's tight after the war and such from Kodor 1, but I'll be damned if they have such lax security protocols on this type of place. Access comms. Dormitories. No response. You know, 
guys. That's not very nice. Just not answering me. Jerks. Anchor Base 25. Can you read me? Hey. About 18. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. I'm just... Trying to make sure they're in. 
mostly because it's more boring than listening to nothing. Let's see. He says as he pauses for several seconds. Jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo hold until we can pass it through the quarantine checks. And as requested, all the programming spikes the security officers wanted confiscated have been stored there as well to prevent further system compromises. The secure cargo hold should be safe enough. If anybody wants to break into it, they'd have to blow it open with explosives. Huh. Lovely. That's the contraband I got. My stuff. Who ordered the mining droids to repair that Jedi's freighter? I come in here off the work shift and three of them are repairing the port stabilizers? Did I miss something? Is somebody planning a trip? Because orders were that the hangar was to be locked down ever since that Jedi arrived. I don't know what maintenance is up to, but you can't just commission droids for repairs, especially with half the work shifts in Med Bay. Those droids are needed to repair the ventilation tunnels before gas builds up to terminal levels. It's not like that ship can go anywhere anyway. Even if it had the asteroid orbital drift charts, the Nava computer's been voice locked. You'd need the access code to get it spaceworthy. Considering this latest droid commission breach, I'm putting the droids in this section under the control of the current dock officer. If anyone sends commands to the mining droids outside this terminal, I'll be forced to enact full override. <laughs> Sounds pretty serious. Looks like those droids got the vessel working again, even with all the damage it had taken. And the maintenance officer still won't admit ordering them to fix it, though. Regardless, still no luck accessing the Nava computer. It's been voice locked, maybe by one of the corpses we found on the ship, like the old woman. If so, that ship isn't going anywhere, unless we rip out the Nava computer and put in a new one, if we even had one to spare. The only reason someone would lock their Nava computer is to hide their astrogation charts. Someone didn't want us to know where that ship was going, or where it had been. Only smugglers do that, or someone with something to hide. That Jedi's got a lot of questions to answer. I know it gets me. First off, that jerk, he's like, that guy's got a lot of questions to answer. You know, just, just threw off, dude. Seriously. 